Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. <laughs> I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so your discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all am I getting sick? I feel like my air horns are not where they should be. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, okay. I think mama is getting allergies and it's it's not going well. Okay, anyway, hi, welcome to new makeup nonsense bingo. This idea was created and crafted by Imperfectly M and I'm just merely riding M's coattails. Essentially, this is a new makeup release video, except instead of just talking about the makeup products that could be so boring and pedestrian, we take the products, we throw them in a folder, we use a random number generator and we call out the products as if we are playing bingo. And we also have a couple of adult libations to go along with it because you know why? It's fun. Definitely go check out Imperfectly M and tell M I said hi and then insert air horns because my air horns are apparently broken. I hear it in my voice. I sound weird. I don't like this. Anyway, I'm gonna keep drinking. That solves everything. <laughs> but before I do that, here are the possible makeup products that I may or may not be talking about today. Here's my bingo card. Without further motherfucking ado, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Cheers, y'all. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. What are we drinking today? Peach iced tea gamer sups. It's absolutely delicious. Mixed with a lot of Tito's vodka. Why? Because today was very long and it was pointless. And it was a long, pointless day. And you know what long, pointless days crave? Vodka. Lots of it. <laughs> and being shitty to makeup products, okay? <laughs> anyway, all right, kids, let's see. What is the first makeup? Oh, I'm so excited, okay. <laughs> I'm really excited. If you haven't, if you didn't see, I'm just really excited. I cannot wait to buy this. <gasps> and it's launching on Sunshine's birthday, ah! okay. <laughs> Which could be a bad thing or a good thing, but it could be a bad thing. So my husband, my little sunshine, he is born on April 14th and um, it's traditionally a bad day. It's just bad. There's a curse. I talked about this in the past, but like we'll go to the movies. It's the worst movie we've ever seen. We go to a restaurant, the restaurant closes the next day. <laughs> It's like that level bad. But then the curse was broken a little bit. Now it's more like mediocre birthdays, but I guess it's better than horrible. But still, there's always a pang of fear in my heart when I see anything released on April 14th. That said, I'm excited, but now I feel like it's not gonna be that great, which kind of sucks, dick. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I had a day today, boy. I had a day and I'm just salty. I'm like a fucking Gordon's fisherman. Like I am just salty as fuck right now. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, first of all, thank you everybody and their mother for tagging me because you know how much I love Polly Pocket. But when I saw this, I lost my shit. 
I love Polly Pocket. Am I sad that this is not like a, a Spectrum brush collection? Now, low key, even though Spectrum brushes are okay, they're not the best thing, I am a sucker for their collections. And I was kind of hoping that Polly Pocket would be like a really cool collection for them. Just thinking about the possibilities, possibilities, I'm sorry, the possibilities of what the makeup bag could be is literally sending my makeup dick for days. Anyway, seeing this, I'm fucking excited. Are these the most amazing colors? No, but they are so true to Polly Pocket, it's not even funny. So Lights Lacquer and Polly Pocket are just, oh my God, I want the whole fucking thing. I definitely want to get the whole box. Basically, they're going to be launching four different nail polishes. You have Polly Bill, Pocket World, Tiny is Mighty, and It's the Little Things. There's also Nail Art Tattoo, 3D Nail Charms, and Stickers. Fuck yes. I just, yes. I want it all. Like, give it to me all. Give it to me now, daddy, okay? I love Polly Pocket with my whole fucking being. My whole body, I love Polly Pocket. And I'll never forget as a child being in a Toys R Us with my mom and there was the last Polly Pocket there. It was like a yellow one. And I remember my mom, <laughs> there was another woman <laughs> looking for Polly Pockets too. My mom literally just threw it into me and said, run. Okay, and I ran, I ran my little ass up and down the fucking Toys R Us screaming that I had Polly Pocket. <sighs> It's a good memory I have. Anyway, so when I see this, I'm like, yes, I don't give a shit. It could literally be shit colors. It could be five shades of just shit and I'd still buy it because it's Polly Pocket. I don't give a fuck, all right? I had a rough, rough childhood. <laughs> And sometimes a little bit of nostalgia just makes it that much better. Sure, I could go to therapy, but why would I do that when I could buy nail polish instead? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy, you're happy, we're all happy. I can't wait to buy this. I'm a little scared, like I said, because it's 414, but you know what? It's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna call this, what am I gonna call this on my bingo card? My bingo card. I'm gonna call this nostalgia, we meet again, because bitch, we meet again. And I'm fucking excited. Next. Oh, you know what? Can I tell you, I like, I like these. I hate them, but I love them at the same time. Let's talk about our good friends over at Benefit. Benefit has the big O powders. Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry, like when did y'all get like fucking NARS? When did y'all get sexual? Ew. Big O powders. Hula Secret Oasis. That's not big O. Oh, is it called O? Oh, I got it. I don't get it actually. What the fuck? All right, whatever. Anyway, there's four duos. They are currently in Sephora, Spain, and they're gonna be coming soon everywhere else. I kind of like these. I kind of like them because I love their blushes, but I hate Hula with a passion because Hula is patchy and weird and gross and weird and gross. Did I mention weird? Because it's gross and it's patchy. And I hate Hula, but I do love the blushes. Now, do I have all the blushes? Yeah, so I don't really need these, but I like them and it actually kind of makes me want to purchase them even though it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I have the goddamn blush, I don't need this. But when I see it in this packaging, it gets me a little excited. Although I do wish that there was a highlighter paired with the blush, I think that would have been cooler because fuck Hula, ugh. Anyway, so you get the Treasure Island, which is Hula Toasted and Krista. Krista? Yeah, Krista. Then you have Desert Retreat with Hula Caramel and Terra. Beach Vacay, Hula and Shelly, and then Secret Oasis, which is Hula Light and Willa. Listen, their blushes are fantastic. And like, do you really need this? No, I think if you were a fan of Hula and maybe you wanted to try the blushes and you wanted to pick up another Hula, which I don't know why you would, but hey, whatever, right? Like fucking no judgment here, even though I drive the shit out of this product, but whatever. Point is, if you wanted it, I could see someone wanting to buy it. For me, they almost got me just because I love the blushes so much, but this is cool. I don't hate this. I don't hate this but it's not for me though. But if you were ever interested in wanting to check out the blushes, they were on sale recently for the um, Ulta sale. So just wait. Oh, actually, oh wait, holy shit, duh. Uh, <laughs> Sephora sales day. If you're a Rouge member, you can go pick up one of these blushes. What the fuck are you doing this for? Go pick up a blush, all right? Fucking do that. Anyway, I think what I can call this is same shit, new packaging, because it's the same shit, just new packaging, but it almost got me, it almost got me. Next. Oh, listen, listen, bitch. I want this. I want this with my whole, <gasps> it's available now. Hold on. <laughs> hold, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Martine Cosmetics. I have not picked up anything from Martine Cosmetics. And I think today is the motherfucking day because this collection looks beautiful. This is the Moolah collection. Ah, I love, 
Ew, what the fuck is wrong with my voice? <gasps> oh, it's available now? <gasps> oh, I want it all. I want it all. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see what, what exactly is in this collection. So we have the Moolah eyeshadow palette, which retails for $59.94. Then you have some matte liquid lipsticks. <laughs> $18.49 a piece. Cole eyeliners, $16.31 each. And then you have the full collection, which is $130.88. Listen. First of all, I look at it. It's a fucking debit card. Like, come on. I love that palette. That palette is beautiful. I'm going to do it. I don't care. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Don't try to stop me. It's fucking happening. Okay. Can I buy this? Hi, can I? Hi, can I buy you? I'm American. Hi, can I buy you? Can I buy this? This is very confusing. I would like to translate this to English, please. Okay, thank you. I was just like, what am I paying for? You want my firstborn? Sure. Um, okay, international delivery. All right, got to do that one. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. I mean, listen, we're going to get this in probably three to seven fucking weeks, but I don't care. I want it. I want it. I want it now. Done. It's done. Watch it be like $3,000 and I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. <laughs> what? Did I, I didn't mean to do this. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, merci, Teresa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Yes. Yes. Okay. So five to eight days it's going to ship. Okay. Yeah. We'll see if it actually comes in five to eight days. I'm not a betting man. I don't think it's going to come in five to eight days, but if it does, I will eat my hat. I'm not wearing one, but trust me, I will find one so I can eat it. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. Actually, hold on. Let me see. How much is this really? How much did I pay for this? I could do the Euro. I yeah, listen, I'm starting to get a buzz. Okay. $155. Okay. I mean, I mean, <laughs> It's a birthday present for Alex. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. Okay, <laughs> you get this beautiful collection that I put on my face. You like that? Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, this looks cool. I am really, really happy because I've been wanting to buy something from Martine. I haven't really found the thing that is the thing that speaks to me. It gets close and then I'm like, eh, whatever. But there's just something about this collection that is literally sending me for days. And you know what? regret shit. So we're gonna call this already bought it because y'all watch me fucking buy it. So yeah. Next. Okay this is kind of stupid but I low-key love it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I love nail polish and this one is just kind of cute. This is from Jamba Juice and Color Depth. Never heard of Color Depth. Have heard of Jamba Juice. I kind of wish it was Juice Generation because that was the place that I loved so much when I was uh, living in New York. Have not found it out here. Probably is here, but have not seen it. Anyway, I've never had Jamba Juice before, but these are so fucking cute. Actually, the green is very similar to the green that's in here. And this green is from Gucci. So this is a great fucking green. It's called... Melinda Green. It's amazing. It looks actually pretty similar to the picture, which is pretty fun. But I love the other colors. I love the pink. I love like that creamsicle orange. I love the yellow. This is something that I would totally pick up and I like it for the price. It's $29.99. That's, I feel like that's really, really good. You get Mango A Go Go, a bright yellow inspired by the world smoothie with mango and pineapple. The Go Getter, a vivid green celebrate to blend matcha and kale. Razzmatazz, berry pink inspired by the blend of strawberry, banana, and orange. And then Peach Perfection, pink orange inspired by the blend of peach, mango, mango and strawberry. This is fucking cute. I, don't, I honestly don't have a bad thing to say about it. It's kind of weird, but also it's expected in 2023. You know what I mean? Like at least if you're going to do the food themes, I'm okay with it in a nail polish form. I think when it becomes like makeup, there's a very good chance of it looking stupid, like stupid as fuck. But I think in nail polish, it's kind of adorable. It's like, oh, this is fucking cute. I love this. Give me more of this. So I hope to see more of this in the future. Will that happen? I don't fucking know, but I want it to happen. I want it to happen so badly, daddy. I really do. But I like this. This is really fucking cute. I love it and I think when this whenever the hell oh is it available? <gasps> Bitch it's available now. Why am I buying everything today? It's Alex's birthday. It's totally fine. It's okay. Actually I shouldn't buy it because it's Alex's birthday. <gasps> oh no the Martine Cosmetics is probably gonna fucking suck. <gasps> oh no. Oh god I cursed us all. <laughs> oh god fuck me. Um I'm still gonna buy it. Fuck it. I don't care. I want this. Let's see. Let's go to color depth. Do 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 uh. Color depth. I can't even find the fucking website. This is weird. Hi, can I just, can I just, can I just, hi, coloredepth.com. Okay, I don't like the 
picture of like the person putting it in their mouth. That's kind of weird. <laughs> weird it's freaking me out there oh okay it actually ships the week of may 1st we're gonna call this a food themed makeup item and i'm gonna put my banking information in next okay at this rate i'm gonna fucking buy everything <laughs> that's not good <laughs> Anyway, so the next product we're gonna talk about is, what are we talking about today, kids? Oh, you know what? I am actually excited about these and, 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 I think I'm gonna pick these up during the Sephora sale. I believe I can buy these during the Sephora sale. So Armani, which by the way, I don't have anything from Armani, never tried Armani before. Heard amazing things, got recommended a bunch of things to try, but I never did. And I always wanted to pull the trigger during Sephora sales, and then I never do. I, I kind of forget every fucking time so I really want to make it a point to buy some stuff from Armani because I heard really good things anyway so this is the luminous silk glow blush y'all know I love a fucking blush moment uh this is a silk infused powder blush that softly drapes the skin with a luminous flush of color so natural that it looks like it's coming from within I like it I like it. It's kind of weird, the from within part. I'm okay with that when it's like highlighter, right? Like, ooh, like it's that glow from within. But I think the idea of blush coming from within usually just means a red face, which I have all the time. <laughs> So, I mean, I don't know about that one, but okay. Anyway, I'll shut up. Powered by Armani's Luminous Silk Filler Technology. What is that? I didn't realize we're so fucking advanced. These blushes smooth the skin while delivering a dose of color and a subtle glow finish. Ultra finely milled for a texture that applies like silk. The formula features spherical light reflecting pigments that work to evenly bounce light off the face for soft focus effect. That is fucking witchcraft and I want it, okay? Buildable, blendable, and packed with pigment for a vivacious pop of color that lasts all day. Listen, take my goddamn fucking money, all right? Take my money, bitch. Oh, I like these colors too because they're very basic basic but they're <laughs> they're very pretty though okay 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 I want them all I want them all are these coming hold on let me go look at Sephora's website because the sale is almost upon us and mama wants to buy things Armani hi hi Armani how are you no okay yes 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 oh perfect okay so it's actually going to be available on 415 which is great because if it was available on Alex's birthday we'd all be doomed so <laughs> I'm excited. I really am. I am very excited to finally get some stuff from Armani. I expect a video in the future. I plan on trying to pick up like a foundation too because I've heard nothing but amazing things. And it's about time that I just shut the fuck up and just try it, okay? Even though I'm on Drugstore Island right now because I'm loving the shit out of it, I kind of want to see what luxury is all about. I love luxury as well. I love it all. I just, I'm a slut for everything. I really am. Y'all, I'm going to buy this. And I can't wait to put this on my fucking face. So put this on my goddamn face. <laughs> Next. Oh, uh, speaking of putting it on my face, I kind of want to put these all over my face. But they're only available in Asia and Australia, and I have no idea if they're ever coming here. And I hope to God they do, but I have a feeling they're not. And that's going to make me sad. But uh, Bobbi Brown is putting out a product that I actually fucking want. Now, I really love the Bobbi Brown Concealer. That's fucking amazing and a staple in my collection. That's something that I think I repurchased like fucking three times already. But this though, these look so good. So these are an artist curated trio of highlighting blush and bronzing shades designed to create a sculpted look. They have a light, medium, and a deep. I think these are fucking beautiful. I really love the light one because, you know, look at me. I'm on cooked chicken. I even think the medium one could potentially work for me. Shit, I even say the fucking deep one could work for me. Like just in terms of blushes, obviously not the highlighter, but I feel like if I maybe go in with a lighter hand, I could work with the deeper palette as well. This is beautiful. I love how simple it is, yet it feels very regal and elegant and it's something that I would be interested in trying if this ever comes here and I really hope that it does because it's so fucking pretty. I love that orangey coral blush from the medium palette. I love that kind of I don't know like that nudish like dusty rose color that's in the light palette. Even like the deeper kind of dusty like berryish color from the deep palette. They're also beautiful. The highlighters I, I, I'm fucking obsessed with this. Plus it looks like the bronzer in the light one Actually, even the medium one looks like they could be really good matches for my ass. I love this. I'm so mad that I can't fucking buy this. This looks so good. I don't even know how much it is. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't give a 
fuck I want it. I want it now. So Bobby Brown, do your magic and fucking come here so I could buy at least two, if not three, if I'm drunk enough, I'll get three. But definitely, <laughs> definitely two though. I love this and I want these. Give it to me now. I don't think I can call this anything other than put it on my motherfucking face, which I already did. So put it on my motherfucking face times two. Next. Oh, these are really cute. I like these. I don't think I would pick them up. Oh fuck, maybe I would. <laughs> so Kaja came out with more little bento box shades. So they're $26 a piece. So kind of steep for considering like, you know, how fucking small they are. Literally Polly Pocket-esque. There are two shades. One's Coral Sunrise, the other one's Forest Night. They're both basic bitch and palettes through and through. Maybe a little bit like an Anne with a twist because of how sparkly it is. There's a new finish with each having a marbled shadow and it looks so fucking good. It looks very, very pretty. And you know what? Listen, the fucking marble shade looks pretty alien slut. Shit, I kind of want these. I want, God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> This is the episode where I buy everything. Hi, my name is Teresa. I'm gonna buy it. <gasps> oh, they're available now. Fuck me up. Wait a second. Hold on. Are, do they do they still sell Kasha in Sephora? Oh, please tell me for the love of everything. <gasps> Bitch! Shut the. Fu no, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till Friday, clearly, because, you know, why would I fucking buy them now when I can get them 20% off? I am literally so fucking excited. <laughs> I can't wait to be disappointed. Let's be disappointed together, okay? Because this is gonna be great. Oh, I'm getting both of them. Hold on, we're gonna put a little heart for that one. We're getting that as soon as it hits fucking midnight. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my God, yes. Yes, bitch. Okay, so I love Forest Night. I love Coral Sunrise. I plan on picking them up. Expect a haul of fucking try on or whatever in the future because we gotta we gotta see how these babies do. But um, I Kaja is like you know I feel like they're definitely super adorable. Quality wise, it could be better. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's been a while since I've tried something from the brand, so I kind of am like I'm curious. Like my makeup takes a little perked up, especially after seeing how slutty that one shade is. I am perked and I'm ready. I definitely don't think they're worth twenty. $6, I definitely think that they're worth 20% off of that. <laughs> so I feel like at that is like more of a fair price point than paying full price because <laughs> fuck that shit. No, no, no. We really need a square on this card that says buy it on sale. Emily, we need to do it. Let's do it. We need a fucking square for that. This is one that is definitely needed to be purchased during a sale. It's not worth it at full price. It's sale only. And this is a motherfucking sale. But with that said, I don't have that on my bingo card. So we're going to call this an Ann palette because these are little basic bitch Anns with a twist, I guess, right? Like they're little Tom Collins, you know, drink enough of them, you're dancing on the bar somewhere. So uh, I'll take it. I like it. Um, and I can't wait to buy it on Friday. I'm literally so fucking excited. <sighs> Today's a good day. You know, listen, it started off really shitty. Then the middle got really rocky and then it ended horribly. You know what though? My frown's upside down, bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. Next. What is this? I don't like this. I don't want this. And why would you want to smell like Fanta? Uh, <laughs> so there is a new fragrance. It's the scent of Fanta or Fanta, whatever. Fanta soda creates a wearable Fanta orange scented fragrance. Okay. Why? Why would you want to smell like shitty, sticky, like garbage sweet soda? Now, if this was say a Rice Krispie treat, <laughs> If this was a uh, gummy bear, you know, then I'd be like, ah, listen, if I can take my money, bitch. But Fanta though, I don't like the smell of soda. The smell of soda taste like it tastes weird. Yeah, it does taste weird, dumbass. But it also smells weird. And it's because I don't like carbonation and I could smell that spiciness that where it just tickles my nose because the fucking bubbles and I hate it. <laughs> so the thought of that as a perfume sounds awful. Why would I want to smell like that? Who is this? For. I hate it. Also, fucking big thumbs down on the presentation. Don't come at me trying to make it look all fucking fancy when then the next thing is Fanta! <laughs> it's like the 
shitty fucking logo. Like I actually would have respected this more if the perfume bottle was a fucking can of soda. I'd be like, you know what? Don't like it, but I think it's pretty adorable. Something I'd probably purchase and put it on the back there. That would have been fucking cool. You know what it looks like? It looks like a brand that is not known, but they're trying to make it look like they're super like luxury and expensive, but we can all tell that they're cheap as fuck. Like <laughs> that's what this looks like. I don't know who you're fooling, baby, but you're not fooling me though, because this looks fucking dumb. No, I can't. Fuck this. Ugh. This could have been cool. This could have been cool, but it's not. It's garbage. So with that, I say, bitch, you don't even go here, okay? She doesn't even go here. Go home. Next. Okay, uh, what is this? <laughs> So uh, Makeup Revolution is coming out with some uh, balm, blush, lip, cheek, and base enhancers. The no makeup makeup looks for the perfect XX glow. XX look, I just added a word there, XX look. Enhance your complexion with a subtle blushing glow and a moisturizing formula. Use alone for a light reflecting boost of glow or on top of makeup to add a natural accent to lips, cheeks, and eyes. Not only does this balm provide the perfect pigmented glow, but it's also packed full of skin loving ingredients. A lot of things that I cannot pronounce right now. So they're available now, they're $9.96 a piece, but what in the fuck is this Becca looking package Okay, you know what I feel like Makeup Revolution did? They went to the uh, burial ground of Becca, right? <laughs> started like digging up Becca just to steal her fucking packaging. This is so weird. It's so weird. And also if you're gonna have something super alien-esque like this packaging, I would think it would be nicer or better to have a product that, you know, is cool. Like I don't know, there's just nothing about these products that look really fucking good. Even the shots of them, I mean, they look like they've been through something. <laughs> They look like they're going through something right now, right? And I feel bad judging them, but they don't look good. They don't look healthy. Especially the one, like the berry one looks really fucked up. Or is it supposed to be coral? What the fuck is it supposed to be? I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to be. <laughs> But even the swatches look so suspect. They just look like, uh, you know what they look like? Burns. They look like burns. That is not good. <laughs> That's not good. Makeup Revolution, what the fuck are you doing? You're scaring me. This brand needs a fucking wellness check. Oh my God. Okay, no. This is a no. Even for $9.96, which sounds really appealing. Uh <laughs> For the faux weird Becca packaging, such a copycat vibe, to the barely there formula, seriously, barely there, the person's arm with the swatches, I mean, is literally a ghost like myself. And the colors just don't look like they're showing up. This just looks bad. And the two models' arms, it's just, the colors are just not there. I don't know, I don't know where the fuck they are. I think I might as well put them on a milk carton to try to find them. I don't like this. So yeah, we're gonna call this Makeup Revolution, go away, go away, come back again some other day, but not really. I feel like we had a good thing going a little bit with Makeup Revolution. They were kind of like intriguing, but I, I they have been taking a lot of left-hand turns and I don't like it. Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. Mm -mm. Next. Why do people choose to have lip gloss that has that stupid ass plumping effect? <laughs> By the way, thank you so much for all those that reached out to me to talk about filler and Botox and all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Am I gonna go do it? I don't know, but I'm kind of leaning towards it. But it's something that I need to think about a little bit longer. <laughs> I know, I kind of like the idea of it. I don't know. I think I've been watching a little bit too much Real Housewives. I don't know why, but um, I'm like, ooh, yeah, like let's get a little, get a little nip and tuck in there. Just kidding, we're not gonna do any of that. Anyway, this is terrifying me, but the packaging is fucking 10 out of 10. So Fenty is coming out with the Gloss Bomb Heat and Glass Slipper. It looks, uh, it, I mean, goddamn, like it is very juicy looking. It looks almost like a lip oil esque. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Dior lip oils. There's one of the Dior ones that just looks so like fucking juicy and delicious, and that kind of gives me that vibe but what I don't like about it is that stupid ass like fucking plumper shit I feel like when there's a lip plumper it's just a spicy butthole on your face and maybe I'm just a baby I could be a fucking I am a baby who am I kidding I don't like pain right and so the thought of just having that on your face and it just tingling like a spicy butthole I don't want that I just I feel like that's so uncomfortable I, I just can't I don't know I, it's just not for me but the more I look at it the more I think it's pretty <laughs> 
love the packaging. I think the packaging is fucking stellar. I don't know. I just don't understand why people want to hurt themselves so much. It's a no for me. It's a no for me. I don't think I'm ever going to find the right plumper for me. So I just better just quit looking while I'm ahead. What am I talking about? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I am getting dry. <laughs> I'm getting to the point where I literally like give. I gotta reboot. Can we reboot for a second here? Let's reboot. Y'all reboot with me. Boop. All right, I'm gonna say this is a, uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather not put a spicy butthole thing on my face. Next. Daddy ColourPop! ColourPop! Ooh, my voice is getting really, really bad. Okay, so here is the full reveal. This is the ColourPops, ColourPops, ColourPops? Color <laughs> Who the fuck is ColourPops? ColourPops, ColourPop, why do I can't? <laughs> Can we reboot? Let's reboot, hold on. Boop! All right, ColourPop. It's just so natural to say ColourPops. God, shit. Daddy, uh, <laughs> ColourPop, our daddy, is coming out with the Alice in Wonderland collection. And this shit literally, this shit, this shit literally arrived at my doorstep. So let's unbox it together. Yay. Okay, there's like, oh my God, this is so cute. I love this. Oh, bitch, I love, what are you? A pocket hair bra, what are, hold on. Oh my fucking god, what? Oh, look at you. Oh, you're a little brush. Shut the fuck up. I don't care about the makeup. I got a brush. This is adorable. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. We love that. We love that. Did you see you brush my hair? It was so good. Anyway, let's look at the things that are in this collection. Oh, here's a little palette. Okay, she cute. Do we have the prices? No, all right, whatever. Uh, you know what? She ain't bad. <laughs> She's not bad. First of all, I have to say, I commend them, snap, snap, snaps, for doing these like book-like palettes now. I think that's really cute. I love that. Definitely looks a lot cooler in person. The pictures look a little bit lighter, even though I'm sure my lights are blowing this the fuck out. It's not as light as it appears. This looks like a, f <gasps> oh, that's a duochrome. Oh, you slutty bitch. Oh, okay, okay. Can you see it? You can't, but I can, and that's really, <laughs> that's really all that matters. Anyway, oh, I like that. Okay, so we have that. We have a lip duo. I'm not gonna open it, but we have a final open it. I hear you, we'll open it. Actually, if you wanna see a video of this, I don't know, say cat. Say cat, meow. <laughs> say that. This is a pretty color. I like that. Here's a nice little gloss, okay. This looks amazing. So this is, ooh, an overnight lip mask. Okay, 10 out of 10, way better than the fucking Snow White one. Oh my God, it smells like a fucking birthday cake. You hear my nose? That's how bad it is. Oh, it smells like, like funfetti cake, like a box cake, like a shitty box cake. Oh, I wanna fucking eat you. All right. <laughs> we love you, okay. So we have some blushes. You know what, the collection is pretty fucking adorable. I'm not gonna lie. Packaging is really cute. Very solid pink color, no frills. And I think this one should be like the reddish color, if I'm not mistaken. Queen of Hearts. Ooh, that's kind of really pretty. Okay, okay. What else do we have in this collection? I think we're coming to an end. We have another lip duo. This one looks like it's going to be, ooh, that's actually a really pretty lip gloss. This one's probably gonna be super red. Okay, all right. Red's not for me, but it's okay. Probably try it. And then we have a couple of shadow sticks as well, which let's see what we have here for the shadow sticks. Very pretty like magenta-y color. Ooh, okay, nice. We have a nice lavender color. Ooh, that's nice. You can't see that. It's very pretty. It's like a nice little duochrome. It has like a lavender blue kind of effect. Very pretty. And then last but not least, this is my green one that I'm excited about because I love me a green. Oh, mama is fucking excited. So when I first saw this collection, I was kind of like, meh, I don't know about this. It kind of seems blah. Uh, it's pretty fucking adorable. And I mean, this brush, this brush is everything. Oh, I can't, oh my God, I love this. Oh my God, I love this so much. This is so 
great. Oh, you are so beautiful. And you didn't steal any of my hair. That's so good. I like this. This collection actually looks a lot better in person. I believe it's going to be at Ulta, and I think this comes out actually the day before you see this video. So uh, if this tickles your makeup pickle, I say check it out. But if you do wanna see a video of this, just say cat, kitty cat, cat, whatever, or color pops. <laughs> <laughs> we can say color pops too, that's fine. This looks kind of cool. Thanks, Dad. I love you. I appreciate you. You're a sweetie. And also, if you're ever interested in wanting to check out anything from Daddy, uh, definitely use the code garbage5. You can save $5 off your order, and we love that. Anyway, nice to see you, Dad, and I hope to see you next week. Next. I'm kind of confused about this one, um, but low-key, kind of excited too. And I'm talking about Christina Aguilera has announced her new role as a co-founder and chief brand advisor for wellness brand Playground. We're loving how she's destigmatizing female pleasure with this brand. Plague? <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me giggle. Playground offers an incredible range of everyday intimacy products, including personal lubricants that come in four unique experiences. Love sesh, after hours, mini escape, and date night. Water-based, formulated with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid that's never sticky. These are currently available now, and these are um, fucking wild. <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen Christina Aguilera in a while and I mean kudos to Christina for not at least coming out with a fucking makeup line I guess right because it could just be very well another fucking skincare line that we didn't need instead Christina's like hey you need lube are you a little dry <laughs> here have some lube let's make it a wet enjoyable experience for everybody and for that I say you know what thank you for thinking of me <laughs> You're sweet, thank you. I like the bottle, I think they're really cute. You know, do I need lube? Not at this moment, no. <laughs> this one, no, I don't need lube, but love seeing it. I, I, I love seeing it, this is great. Listen, I'm all about all things sexy, okay? Sex it up, if it makes sense. <laughs> like makeup products that you know are like trying to be like super sexual like i'm like oh no like you're you're literally trying too hard but products that are meant for you know you know fucking like it totally it totally makes sense so if you need some lube go check out christina aguilera she's pump ew <laughs> she's pumping it out you know when i say it like that it just sounds gross <laughs> I don't know if this brand already existed. The name oddly sounds familiar, but like I don't know where I could place it. So I'm just gonna call this a new celeb brand. I'm just gonna call it that. And um, we're gonna keep on keeping on. But listen, we love a good sex moment here and we love some lube. Next. I'm excited for this one. This is from Blend Bunny Cosmetics and Blend Bunny has a new collection, y'all. And I actually just got it in the mail the other day. And Blend Bunny was kind enough to ask me which side that I wanted. And obviously I wanted to choose the more exciting side. So this is the Juicy Cheeks Face Palette. And she looks pretty as fuck. I wanted this one because I love lavender blushes. I love yellow and orange blushes. And I just wanted something a little bit different. I have not tried it yet but I shall swatch it with my little thingy. And these feel really nice. And I cannot wait to put these all over my goddamn face. Oh, that's really nice. I don't know, I'm so, I'm so sorry that I keep doing like these stupid ass swatches this way. I know y'all can't see it. I know you can't, but I still do it anyway. I'm just like, oh, can you see this? Can you see this? Do you like it? <sighs> anyway, um, I really, 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 really um, cannot wait to play, put this all over my face. I am affiliated with the brand. So if you were ever interested and you wanted to save a little bit of money, use the code garbage and you can save 10% off your order. Now, also in this little collection, you have the Juicy Cheeks Palette, which retails for $32. And you have the Bare Cheeks Palette, which is something that I actually am going to pick up. So I want to purchase this myself. I'm going to buy that in a second. <laughs> But there's also lip oils as well as a cheek brush too. Uh, the brush looks nice. It looks fine. I don't know. I don't really have any super intense feelings about it. It looks like a very pretty brush, but like, eh, I don't know. I'm, I'm all set. Like I don't need another brush. I'm okay. But the lip oils, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have them in front of me, but that was the first thing I did try though, because y'all know me, I'm a sucker for fucking lip oil and I love lip oil. Wasn't a fan. And 
and it wasn't the formula, it was the doe foot. The doe foot feels like a cat's tongue. And if you have a cat, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It feels like sandpaper and I was not a fan. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to get the formula out because I like the formula. The formula was fine. The actual doe foot just felt really, really rough. <sighs> So that's a little unfortunate. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe in the future or maybe, you know what, maybe I got a bad batch. That could be it too. Maybe I got a bad fucking doe foot head. But if all the doe foots are like that, I really hope in the future that maybe a softer doe foot will definitely, you know, be made. It was a little too rough for me. And I, I listen, I'm a bitch. I told you, I don't like pain. I am, I just, I don't like it. And I just didn't, I didn't want that. I didn't want that for me. But anyway, this seems a lot of fun. Cannot wait to play with this. But yeah, those little boils, not a huge fan of those, um, but it's okay. We all make mistakes, it's totally fine. So with that said, I'm gonna buy the Bare Cheeks collection as well because your girl needs to have it, I, especially for those really beautiful nude blushes. They look so good and I can't wait to put them all over my goddamn body. So yeah, I can't wait to feature this in a video in the future. And um, yeah, I hope it's everything that I think it's gonna be. Anyway, with that said, I don't think I can call this anything. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Next. Okay, listen, I know I talk a lot of shit about Byredo, okay? Because Byredo scares me, but I kind of want this. <laughs> And maybe it's because I'm getting a little drunk, but I kind of want this. I kind of want this. I love the colors and I think they're so pretty and I don't really give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit, but then I see that $75 price tag and I go, no, I care, I care. <laughs> I care. I just, I love Byredo's aesthetic. I love the stupid acid trip fucking packaging. And I love the colors of this particular palette. I think out of all the palettes that they have come out with, this is the one that's really fucking getting me. It's getting me and I'm like, I'm so close to pulling the trigger. And I know it's gonna be miserable. I know it's gonna be miserable. Plus, I'm still cursed from that first palette that I ever tried from the brand. So like, I know it's not gonna do well, but when I see that silver though, oof. Oh, my makeup dick is literally leaving off my body because y'all know I am a slut when it comes to silver and it looks so good. So this is called the Metal Boots in the Snow Palette. Five pigments housed in a distinctive metal raindrop compact, an icy green palette perfect for smoky looks of gray, silver, and gold undertones. If I keep drinking, I'd pick this up because this is something that I'd be like, you know, it's not so bad by reading. <laughs> Let me just try it again, you know, and, and we all know what, how that's gonna end. It's like calling your, you know, ex. You know it's not gonna end well for you. You know it's not. It's gonna be hilarious and fun in the moment, but then afterwards you're gonna be like, why the fuck did I do that? And that's kind of what this is about. But goddamn, that silver is is literally my kryptonite. It's my kryptonite. I can't help it. I can't help it. I, lo I want it. I kind of want it. I kind of want it. So we're gonna call this Drunk Me Would Buy It. <laughs> on the cusp of wanting to buy this, but I need to snap out of it. I need to snap out of it. Next. I want to try this out because this looks kind of really interesting. So this is from Thread Beauty, right? Yep, Thread Beauty, it's a new brand. It's a black owned women led beauty brand. Sets out to create accessible, affordable, multi-use and multi-benefit beauty products for everyone to be able to freely express themselves unapologetically. Not to mention all their products are only $8 a piece. Sign me the fuck up, Sally. I'm excited for that. I love that price point. So there are two different products, it looks like, just two. There is the Face It, which is a multi-use complexion stick in 26 shades. It's the largest range of foundation sticks in Target. Weightless cream complexion stick delivers long wearing medium to full buildable coverage and sets to a satin matte finish. Not a fan of the finish, but it's okay. It's okay. Maybe maybe it might be like a, a soft matte on my dry ass. Then you have Cover It, which is multi-use complexion fluid in 12 shades, specially formulated to complement all 26 shades of Face It sticks. Buildable and blendable multi-use concealer that sets to a second skin-like finish and a little bit goes a long way. I wanna try it. Listen, I told you, I am the drugstore queen, okay? <laughs> I've been loving the shit out of drugstore products and this just looks really fucking good. I hope that the fair shade is going to not be too dark on me. That's my only thing. It's it's kind of like it could go 50-50. I don't know. It could end well, 
it could be great i don't know but i am fucking intrigued though to try it so uh i'm gonna see if my local target has this if not i'm just gonna try to order it but i want to see if i can find it in store and i'll definitely include it in a try on video in the future but also i love that there is a chart as well where it shows like the multi-use the multi-benefit delivers customizable gag worthy coverage weightless cream buildable and blendable yeah I, honestly like i i like it i've been really really impressed with drugstore options as of late because even the most expensive things are you know kind of just okay and really just paying for the name or the packaging or whatever right and something simple like revlon for example which is what i currently have on my face it's fucking fantastic like fantastic now granted there are drugstore products that are quite expensive and kind of annoyingly so so i love that this is an actual true eight dollar price point so i'm hoping that the quality is there anyway i expect a review sometime whenever the fuck i find it but i'm excited though and i really like this so can't wait to try it third beauty oh i love this i actually really like their tagline a beauty brand made for humans of color you know you're fucking beautiful and we think so too and they actually said fucking i love that any brand that says fuck is great in my book so fuck me up all right i'm excited so yeah i'm gonna try this in the future and we'll uh, we'll talk we'll talk we'll talk about it in the future all right yeah okay <laughs> Can I call this anything? Oh, I'm buying it for science. I'm buying it for science. That's what I'll call them. Cause I am buying it for motherfucking science. Next. Oh, hello, Lethal Cosmetics. We haven't heard from them actually in a fucking while. Hi, hi, baby. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I'm sure people are gonna fucking ask me. I don't know. I have no idea. It just looks fun. I love their packaging. Their packaging is fucking cool. It's, it's just something new. That's all we know. <laughs> the full reveal will be on Friday, Alex's birthday. So again, a little scared for them that it could end badly, but fingers crossed, uh, but I'm excited. They're due for something and I hope that it's everything that I wanted it to be and more. So I guess we'll just say to be continued and um, the YouTube channel is adorable. Go check them out. It'll be released 10 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, right, 10 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. That doesn't make sense. Maybe it meant to be 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. I was about to say specific. I'm getting drunk. All right, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tune in then. Next. <laughs> <sighs> So the next product is from Unearthly Cosmetics. Okay, my air horns are kind of coming back. Not really. They're they're a little sad today. And we have the Don't Be Jelly palette, which can I tell you, when I think of jelly, I think of that shitty Too Faced palette that I like lost my shit about. I think it was called Don't Be Jelly or something very similar to that or peanut butter and jelly. You remember those fucking palettes, whatever. Anyway, anytime I think of that, I just immediately think of that palette and I get like upset about it because it was so shitty. But anyway. <laughs> Neither here or there. Unearthly Cosmetics is coming out with Don't Be Jelly Palette, which looks fucking adorable. It retails for $60. The pre-order is open on 413, so by the time you see it, pre-order is open. And it will be shipped out on May 2nd. Nice. This is a 12 pan palette, and there are all kinds of shit in here. So you have a duo chrome, you have multi chromes, you have matte shades, more duo chromes, more multi chromes, more duo chrome. You have everything. I really do love Unearthly Cosmetics, and I love this fucking color story. It's kind of really pretty because I feel like it's the end of winter going into spring. Like that's the kind of vibe it gives me. And I love that. So I can't wait to play around with this palette, especially those purples. They look fucking good. And the blues actually too. All of this looks wonderful. Actually, you know what my favorite part is? That like weird mint green, that ghostly green in the corner that looks fucking beautiful. Um, this is another brand that I am affiliated with. Oh shit, I also forgot that I'm affiliated. <laughs> I'm affiliated with all of them. All the codes are garbage. <sighs> all right. Anyway, um, I am affiliated with Unearthly Cosmetics. So if you're ever interested in wanting to pick something up, my code is garbage. Feel free to use and abuse. But uh, this looks good. I like it. I can't wait to try it out. This looks very beautiful. If this is not sent to me in PR, I would definitely pick this motherfucker up because this looks really good. I also like that this palette looks a little bit different from their palettes that they've been coming out with, which usually their palettes are pretty like chunky. They're pretty big, right? So this kind of feels a little bit more horizontal. I'm like, I'm kind of fucking feeling it. I like it. I like the packaging too. It looks really, really pretty. It's like a, a fun little jellyfish. It is a jellyfish, right? No, it is. Oh, I feel so good. <laughs> I was like, wait, are you, are you, sh yep. No, it is a jellyfish. I'm very proud of myself, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna call this all the multi chromes because this is the motherfucking all the multi chromes. Next. This is another product that I would be interested in picking up, 
but I would wait for it to come on sale. So this is from Sigma Beauty. This is the Sigma Cream Blushes. Give your cheeks a radiant, dewy flush of color with these silky smooth cream blushes formulated with nutrient-rich ingredients. The long-wearing, lightweight texture instantly blends into the skin for a natural-looking finish. Use your favorite blush brush, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Okay, so $30 a piece. So that's why I would like for these to be on sale. <laughs> I feel like at 20 something, I'm not cringing as hard. 30, I'm cringing hard. These look kind of interesting. And I actually like the colors. The colors are definitely a little bit different. Usually I feel like it's like the standard like bubblegum pink and maybe like an orangey coral and then like a rose color. These feel like a little bit different. So you have like a melon, a salmon rose, pomegranate, and an earthly rose. These are cute. Yeah, this is something I would definitely pick up on sale. Actually, have they ever come out with cream products before? I don't think they have. I don't think they have. I could be wrong, so someone can correct me in the comments, but this is really pretty though. I like it but I don't want to pay full price for it. This is a on sale only. Yep, on sale only. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a to be continued. I would get it in the future on sale. Next. <laughs> Okay, I have been playing this fucking game really long and we only have a few more left because like I'm, ru I'm running out here. I'm running out. <laughs> like this is fucking wild, okay? So the next one is, ooh, okay. So this is from Estee Lauder. And I feel like this is the only time that I'm like, oh, you exist. Because oftentimes Estee Lauder is just so fucking, just not on the radar. Like they're not even on the fucking, on this earth. You know? <laughs> They're in a different galaxy somewhere. Like, I don't I don't know how they're in business. Like, and I know that sounds shitty, but seriously, like, how are they in business? Anyway, so Estee Lauder is coming out with probably one of the coolest fucking collaborations that they'll ever come out with. And this is with Chinese fashion designer, Feng Chen Wang. I I'm obsessed. The thing that stops me is, of course, <laughs> The models photos, like they're a little, um, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like the eyeshadow placement cause it's so low on the eye. So I don't love that, but I love the palette. I love the lipsticks, even though lipstick colors are not for me. I just love the texture of them between the case and just the bullet. It looks so elegant and fucking just so see you next Tuesday energy. I love it. Like I just fucking love it. The palette is adorable. I'm actually kind of surprised because it looks very basic, right? Because it's just like a bunch of like beigey, pinky kind of colors. And then you have this plum in there that just really, I don't know, just makes me go, oh, okay. It's the nerdy girl that takes her glasses off and now she's hot. Like <laughs> that's what I get. Like that's the vibe I'm getting and I'm okay for that. Like I'm, I'm all here for that. And I love the pan embossing. Like it's so gorgeous. And then there's one shade that looks like a speckled fucking egg. Like Estee Lauder, what the f- I have not seen this energy. I like it. I like it. And you know what's sad? This is the only time we're ever going to see this. This is going to be a one and done. We're never going to see this kind of like fresh kind of energy. It's just going to be the same- fucking double wear over and over again or like the same that stupid bronzing fucking palette thing or whatever it's the same color over and over again this feels different it feels different it feels cool the campaign photos of the models are not selling it for me but everything else is and this is something that i would totally fucking get this feels like it's definitely pretty embossing basic makeup but i know we have used that already so we can't call it that but this is something that i potentially i would pick this up i'm gonna pick this up <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying it, but finally an Estee Lauder product that actually looks good. I don't understand it myself, but here we are. <laughs> Maybe I'm drunk, <laughs> but this actually looks pretty good. She looks like a good time. I'm gonna call this pretty embossing basic makeup because it feels exactly that. Next. You know what's really funny? I was just fucking complaining about how I'm <laughs> pulling all these images and now we only have three left. I'm just gonna, I'm, listen, I'm just gonna fucking go through them, okay? So don't mind me, don't mind me, but we have three left, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna fucking pull them, okay? The next one is uh, Flower Nose. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me about Flower Nose, this thing that I have right here, okay? So I got their weird chocolate collection thingy. This is fucking good. And I'm sorry I didn't make a video on it. I wanted to make a video on it and then just fucking things got in the way blah 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 i'm definitely going to include it in a favorites video and if you still want to see it even though it's been out for three thousand fucking years comment down below show me the goods <laughs> just say show me the 
good and I'll do the fucking video for flower nose okay I am so sorry y'all know that this is not my only job I have like a nine to five really it's like a fucking nine to nine job but whatever I have a job and that comes first unfortunately because you know health insurance and shit that's first <laughs> this job. So I apologize that I can't get out things like I used to. Just work has been really literally eating my ass and not in a fun way. So if y'all really want to see it, I will definitely talk about it, but I will say it's fucking good. Like I cannot understand. I just don't get it. But like when I saw this collection, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm picking this up. <laughs> like I, there's no ifs, ends, or buts about it. This looks really good. It's coming out April 20th. Sign me the fuck up. I want it all. So this one looks like it has an eyeshadow palette, a face powder, brushes, mirror, lip products, the whole nine yards. I definitely want the blush. I definitely want the eyeshadow palette. I do have one of the brushes because like, they sent it to me for free. I'd skip. It's kind of cheap and shit. Like it's not really that fucking cool. But everything else sounds wonderful. The face powder in that little, the stupid little powder book thingy. This is good. Like if you are uncooked chicken like myself and you like a cool contour or cool moment, this is great. Plus the fucking highlighter. I mean, she is... She's a nice little demure slut. Like she's very pretty. We love a little demure slutty moment. Huge fan of it. So anyway, I would call this like pretty embossing basic makeup for sure. Cause that's what it is. Uh, but it's not bad. And although I will say that the packaging on this one looks so much better than the chocolate one. The chocolate one's really cool. Although the photos of the chocolate one was weird. It seemed like weird Amish girls. <laughs> very Amishy and kind of spooky. But this though is, this looks very beautiful. And it kind of reminds me of that stupid Animal Planet documentary about mermaids. And I desperately wanted to believe that mermaids were real. And I thought they were real for all of two hours. And then at the end of it, <laughs> said this whole documentary is fiction and can I tell you my heart was broken that day all right I don't even know where I'm going with it <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this but let's just say I want this I'm gonna buy it and it's gonna be mine so uh but yeah let me know if you want to see this video in the future let me know because you know I, I could potentially do it but definitely gonna pick up this one and I promise you I will definitely do this one <laughs> let's go <laughs> but seriously if you're on the fence about flower nose the chocolate collection wonderful anyway so there's that one. And then the next one is, oh, What's Up Beauty? What's Up Beauty? Okay, so What's Up Beauty? I love What's Up Beauty. They have fantastic brushes. And I believe the day that this gets released, the brushes are gonna be available. They were kind enough to send me all their brushes. I have not played with them yet, but I plan on doing so. And uh, essentially, this, this is what she looks like. Here's all the brushes. The set of six will be $124.20, or it's $23 per brush. And listen, if they're anything like the quality that I'm used to, I love their brushes. They're so fucking good. I love natural hair brushes. I love Refer, I love Sonia G, and the What's Up Beauty does not disappoint. So unfortunately, I just haven't had a chance to play with them, but these look incredibly good because you have a couple of different shapes here, which are really nice. Plus you also have some brushes that are like mixed with goat and synthetic. And I find that usually when it's like a goat and synthetic, especially for shimmers, it just fucking uh, makes the difference. So I'm excited to try the flat shader brush and the eyeliner brush. These are fucking, they look beautiful. Actually, hold on, let's open up one of them. Which one are you? Oh, this is the small flat shader, the one that I was talking about. I love their packaging. They come very, very good. Also, there is a nice little QR code that tells you how to clean your brushes, which is fucking, oh, this is so nice. Oh my God, this is so thin. It's so nice to see like these small, thinly packed brushes because as someone who has hooded eyes, right, it's often very, very difficult to find like a really nice, like, flat kind of a shimmer brush, right? To get into that corner without it overtaking everything. Because I have hooded eyes, I don't have a lot of real estate, especially when I'm putting on shimmer, there's a very good chance that I could literally end up in my goddamn hairline. So <laughs> it's so nice though to have something really, really small to kind of get into all my nooks and crannies. So I love that. So anyway, I cannot wait to play with these. I'm going to include them in a video in the future. So again, these are coming out on April 14th and they're retailing for $124.20 or $23 per brush. So we love that. That. We love What's Up Beauty. I love their fucking eyeshadow palettes. If you ever have a chance, definitely get their two eyeshadow palettes. They're fucking fantastic. Plus, they also make really good nail polish as well. But their brushes are fucking top notch. So we love that. And then I think the last one I have is from good old Stila, which I mean, we're not going to waste our time. <laughs> 
no Stila. Um, the only thing that's kind of worth it in my opinion, and these are something that you definitely get on sale, the Heavens Do All Over Glimmer. They're really sparkly highlighters. I have it in one shade, I think like Silver Lake or something like that, and it's very beautiful, but it is very sparkly. So if you're someone that doesn't like micro glitter, you're gonna fucking hate it. But if you're someone that loves micro glitter, you're gonna fucking love it. So it really depends on your preference. They're interesting. The rest of the stuff from Stila, I'm kind of like, I don't really give a shit. You have like a lip stain, who cares about that? You have the Muted Neon Liquid Eyeliners. That kind of sounds kind of cool. Those are kind of really pretty. Those are definitely different. And then you have the uh, Gel Lip Oil, which the lip oils, I love lip oils too, but they're just not doing it for me though. They're just not. And then, yeah, it's pretty much it. I don't know, Stila. I know I talk a lot of shit about Stila because I find them to be like incredibly boring, but that fucking glittery highlighter, it's kind of good, but it's one of those things that you get it on sale. You don't pay full price for it, it's not worth $30, but if you can get it like 20 to 30% off, you could fuck with that. Like that's something that you get on sale. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Wow, I went through all of them. That was fun. That's it, that's all I got. You can go home now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you're going to be picking up any of the products that I mentioned in today's video, or if you're going to be skipping out, let me know because I love hearing from you. Definitely go check out Imperfectly M. And uh, without further ado, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram. And to my beautiful YouTube and Patreon members, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trash. Really, really, I can't even talk right now. Wow. Okay. Hold on really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting, really trashy, but really beautiful though. Garbage but afloat. I couldn't do this without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up so I can just love you forever. <laughs> of blanked out for a second but basically i just want to love you forever and i think that's a good thing if you want to know what's currently on my face if i remember what i have on i will definitely leave a temple actually i do remember what i have on you know what i have on my face mostly drugstore stuff okay with the exception of rare beauty highlighter which i'm fucking in love with so today is a sephora sale go get the rare beauty okay get it the highlighter is fucking delicious and disgusting eyeshadow is elf this thing is uh fucking revlon, uh, revlon i'm still obsessed with that goddamn revlon foundation it's so good but the eyeshadow is definitely elf and i've been wearing it since six o'clock this morning because i had to have a meeting at 9 a.m and it usually takes me eight hours to get ready <laughs> Yeah, if I remember everything else about my face, I'll put it down below and I will see you little cranberry bogs later. Bye. Next. Whatever. Bye.